Here's how you create a backdash on keyboard in Tekken 8. When you start out, you want to press the back button. If you're on left side, that's the A button. If you're on right side, that's the D button. And then from there, whichever your back input is, you want to press that twice. And on that second press, you want to hold that second back press. And then from there, after you get comfortable just practicing, pressing double tap back and hold back. So double tap back, hold back. And then after that, you want to keep holding back. You don't want to let go back ever until I say so. So you want to press down, which is the S button. And from there, you want to let go of just the S button. Because whenever you press the S button, whenever you go double tap back and the S button, that puts you in a crouch. And from that crouch, you can let go of the S button after you enter crouch for a brief state and hold that back. And this will give you another back input. And this allows us to continue our momentum. And then we can enter into another back dash after that. So you just want to keep holding that A button until after you fully release the crouch button. So double tap back, hold that back, and then press down to enter crouch, then let go afterwards. So you want to hold the back button a little bit longer than your down button. So what this does is it allows you to give you that back input and then that second back input and allow you to cancel out of it. So if I keep doing this, this will slowly over time, you can build this up. That way you can have this dash cancel. So you really want to focus on doing it nice and slow. Even if you have a long crouch state, that way you can get the inputs and the timings down correctly. So that way you don't go too fast, like right here, where you just kind of end up doing nothing. But if you just keep practicing, then eventually you'll have some pretty good Korean back dashes on keyboard.